nonprofit group called Soldier Socks that is helping wounded veterans take the next step forward in their lives using this incredible technology. Take a look at this woman, uh, soldier, and this man as they take steps in these very high-tech devices that are called an exosuit. It's a bionic device that enables individuals with lower extremity paralysis to stand up and to walk again. Joining us now in the studio is Dan Rose, a veteran injured in an improvised uh, explosive device incident in 2011 in southern Afghanistan. And Christopher Meek is the director of Soldier Socks, which is the organization that is uh, working so hard to raise this money. Welcome, Dan. Welcome, Chris. Good to have you both here today. Thanks, um, Thank you for your service, first of all. Um, and you have walked in, in one of these suits. Yes, what, it, what was it like for you? Were in, tell us just a little bit about uh, your, your injury, if you don't mind. Um, well, it was an IED attack in southern Afghanistan in April 2011. Um, totaled the truck, uh, but the equipment saved our lives. Um, I was the worst injured out of the vehicle, so as bad as the day was, it couldn't have gone any better. Um, my driver and my gunner are both you know, living normal lives again, so it's, it was pretty crazy. but. You say when you put the suit on, because you've gotten used to life in your wheelchair, yeah. um, but you were strapped into this, this suit and you were able to walk. What, what was that moment like for you? Uh, just standing up was surreal. Like, yeah. you know, the act of like actually, you know, pushing up, standing up and being eye level with people again was just an amazing experience. And I, you know, I enjoyed it. And I'm thankful for Chris and his organization for making it an actual possibility for me to you know, have this suit and actually use it on a daily basis. It's amazing. Uh, and we're looking at the suit. Chris, tell us a little bit about the, the development of the suit and what you're trying to do to make sure that more people like Dan can have access to it. Sure. So the suit's um, a device was made of ex exobionics and it's a transition from a military-based e equipment to a medical device. And when we saw this and thought about the idea of helping paralyzed veterans stand up and walk again, like Dan mentioned, uh, we said, well, how can we not be involved with this? It's, there's 100,000 approximately uh, lower paralysis veterans who were wounded uh, in, in the field. 42,000 of them are eligible for medical care and benefits. They, they get only $2,700 a month, right, uh, in terms of, of the wounded benefit that is given to them. So th th this is a long road. How much yeah. do these suits cost and how much money do you need to raise to get them for everybody who wants one? Sure. So each suit costs about between $110,000 and $140,000 depending on uh, the software package you have. Uh, we've initially committed to funding 10 of these with Exobionics, so we're currently under a uh, sorry, $1.4 million capital campaign. Um, but you read off some pretty staggering statistics where, uh, you know, for us to, to raise the funds necessary for that, it's, good, you know, it, it's a long road. Yeah. Dan, what is, how does it change your life? What are you able to do in, with this suit? I can reach the top of the cupboards again, you know, <laughs> grab glasses and plates out. I mean, uh, and just to be able to get around the house and do more daily activities, you know, and cooking's easier because I can actually like stand and it's a, uh, it's, it's life changing, you know, like the, the chair's great for getting around or whatever, but it just doesn't get you on eye level with everybody else. I mean, so. this technology is so amazing and, um, it, you know, you can see a future, Chris, when you look at um, these pictures of, you know, mm. of a whole new life for yeah. people who thought that they were going to be confined to a wheelchair for forever. Yeah, absolutely. And Dan and I were talking before where it's not just with paralyzed individuals, but also people who have suffered stroke. Um, you know, they're, they're changing the device so it can en enable them to stand up and walk again as well. So, uh, you know, I think you said the word limitless out there is that, you know, what this suit can yeah. do is it's a powerful, powerful machine. What made machine. you get so involved in this, Chris? Um, you know, it originally started with a different mission with Soldier Socks by sending basic supplies to troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. And as the wars wound down, we thought, okay, you know, we want to focus on some new things. What can we do? Um, it was an accident. We tripped across an article in the magazine on the exosuit um, and had, through social media, had reached out to Exobionics. And a few weeks later, they contacted us. And next thing I know, I'm touring the facility in California. And, uh, you know, I think the, the real reason, if you think about it, take a step back. Dan mentioned how his, his incident was um, in April 2011. The day he was injured uh, was my youngest daughter's fifth birthday. So I was home uh, having pizza and birthday cake and ice cream while he's being medevaced to, uh, to Kandahar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's why we do what we do. And I know, Chris, you had done six years uh, already in the Army. You had re-enlisted um, yeah. when, when your injury happened. Um, you know, and, and I, just from everything I've read about you, you're, I, it doesn't sound like you have any regrets. No, not, none at all. Um, it was a blast. I got to, uh, you know, travel the world with some amazing people. I got friends that, you know, I met in the Army or whatever that are going to be lifelong friends. And 
a few of them are like brothers, you know, they're, they're I bet, so. I bet. Well, Merry Christmas, uh, and thank you for your service, and thank you for being here with us today. We wish you well with this suit, and I bet there are a lot of people out there who want to know how they can help. Um, so, Chris, tell us, how can we help? Sure. Uh, the website is soldiersocks.com. Uh, you can like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Um, and if you think about it, take a step back, and if every one of your viewers were to donate $20, we could help hundreds of paralyzed veterans stand and walk again. Think about that at home, folks. Uh, if every one of you sent $20 to Soldier Socks, like the socks you wear on your feet, SoldierSocks.com, uh, you could really make a huge difference in a lot of people's lives. So, Chris, thank you for the time and energy that you've put into this personally. And, Dan, again, thank you for your service and for coming to visit us today. Thanks and we wish you both a, a wonderful Merry Christmas. Thank you, you, thank you gentlemen. Pleasure thank to you. meet you both. Likewise. Thank you.